their seniors off into style with a win all to here. He's in the backfield right now, but instead they'll play fake it. Vesperis going over the top, tight coverage along the sideline. This one is incomplete. Play there, a couple long shots here to start. So a third and long to start. Eastern's not been great on third down this year. And Vesperis looking for a room to run. He's going to be dropped short. So this season, he started the last two games and will start the season finale. And a great runner he is. He'll throw the ball as well, but where he runs it is really receivers in tight. And he'll hand this one off Starling, and he's got enough for the first down as he squeezes his way through a couple of tacklers. Big Sky Conference looking to make the most of it here. Flores straight ahead. He bounces off a tackler. Angel Flores to the five-yard line. Ran right in to get a stop. Hold the Lumberjacks to a field goal opportunity, an area they have not been great, but instead it's going to be Belcher rumbling into the end zone. Touchdown, Northern. For Flores on the read option, he's the defensive end. Just come down the line of scrimmage. And Not really letting Eastern get their wind is this extra point on the way and good. And it's the lumber. First possession, getting back to what they do best. Well protected, but maybe a little bit of miscommunication is underneath Keeney James for the first down. First first down of the game. Vesperis didn't have anything, runs forward for a couple yards before he's knocked down. A lot of Tuna Altair, the big man. All of a sudden, it's another third down for the Eagles. Good protection and throw out to the right. This is going to be a flag. Offensive line will tell you about them and how much experience that group brings. Vesperis flushed out of the pocket, looking for somebody to fire to. Goes back over the middle into traffic. It's somehow to keep the Jacks on their heels. Vesperis again with another clean pocket. Goes over the middle. This one's caught. And down to the end zone. Diving in is Blake Goble. Score. Extra point on the way and through. Eastern Washington answers right back in the ball. 37 of those on the ground. Quick pass out to the right and taking off with plenty of room. Down the sideline is BJ Fleming and Fleming. Handoff, bouncing it to the outside. This time it's Starling. Devin Starling trying to get the corner. Devon Starling tiptoes. Boy, some agility. Just barely keeping those toes in bounds, Bill. Well, and, and just kept it on the ground. Extra point awaiting. That one's on its way and through, so. Sets his feet. He's going to have a chance. Three-man rush here for NAU. Vesperis with plenty of time. Kekoa now will just take off and run, get back to legs from that quarterback position. Four and a half minutes to go here in the first quarter. Vesperis over the middle. This one is intercepted. Club on his hand. You know things are looking up. Here's a handoff, and this time it is Belcher going forward for a few yards. Yeah. The passer here, Flores drops back. That's what he will do, trying to set up the screen. He goes out to the left, and this is caught by Bryze White for a big gain and a first down. Senior with his first career interception here on senior day. This is Michael Wortham at quarterback to start this drive. And Eastern Washington is very much aware of Coete. Double, double team blocks on most plays so far. Vesperis might have had it. Staying on the field. Vesperis, the pitch, and it's a wide pitch, and falling on the football are the lump just the seventh pass attempt of the game for Flores. He'll drop back and fire another one. This one's caught, and Bryze White able to hold on to it as he took Was, but uh, able to get up there and a little push into the end zone, it looks like, for a score. Yeah, Flores just got a shove in the back, and he's in the end zone. So and Football to get into the end zone. Shimon Garlic on for the extra point, which is on the way in through. 21-7 NAU. Plays against this Eastern offense, and you get the feeling like Eastern is going to have to score on every possession here as they take a big loss here. Huge stop in the backfield. And again, they, they've uh, they've been really successful here. You go a little fly sweep. This is to Fleming. B.J. Fleming, who had the big play on the screen pass. is They've scattered four throughout the middle of their schedule. Here's Angel Flores keeping it himself this time. Good for a couple yards before a host of... Flores, handoff. Belcher tries the left side. And he'll tiptoe up the sideline close to a first down. And 150 yards in this first half. This time Flores will keep it. Bryce a. White out. Lead blocker, but a nice play out on the edge. Flores under center again. Would we see the sneak? We will. And he is, believe he's in. Yeah, they're going to run up. See that in the blink of an eye. 
Extra point pending. It is a 28-7 lead for the visitors. NAU pouring it on. Thus far, he's been really quiet. Just one grab for four yards. Vesperis looking. He has pressure coming from the blind side. He'll throw to the sideline instead for Ulm. Handoff to an alt here straight ahead. He's got enough for the first down. He was able to against Montana State last week. Flores back on the field. Angel Flores straight ahead and in his third touch. Turnovers, turnovers on downs, but to do something with it with touch, you know, step up a bit, especially on behalf of these seniors. Extra point on and good. A stunned crowd here in Chinlon, but there are still some of the better teams in the in the FCS ranks. Well, you see Eastern trying to run the football here, just not with them. Their worst starting field position was their own 30. And this is a fumble picked up by the Eastern defense. It's Jaron Banks, and Banks will take it to the end zone. Eastern defense gives these fans something to cheer about. Jaron Banks scoops. You know, really an unforced, unforced turnover there from NAU. Just mishandled the snap, but Banks. With another stop. It's a handoff. Devon Starling up through the middle. Yeah, and you just figure NAU is going in these last two and a half minutes. Vesperis with his first three interception game of his career. He'll fire this out to the left where Efton Chisholm is able to fall forward. This is third down. Vesperis. Floats it over the top. He's got Chisholm for a touchdown. Most second prolific receiver comes up with a touchdown there. His sixth of the year. First play for Eastern Washington that hasn't been a senior. So how about that? Chisholm, but we know how electric he is. And boy, a lot of, a lot of credit. NAU and Eastern Washington each with two timeouts. Flores drops back, throws this over the middle. Low throw, and it's incomplete. Here's a handoff, Chase Belcher will start the second half and stutter step through a man. Belcher with a big gain before he... 100 yards here by the end of this drive. Had the touchdown in the first half. Angel Flores with a design quarterback run. He's thumped by Shadrick Harris. A good game, but Trevion downs already. Second down, handoff up the middle. This time it's Belcher again, and he's dropped short of the first down marker. It'll bring up... So we'll see if Flores comes back. Britt will carry this when he's chased down from behind, hit first by Demarcus Johnson before he's this season. When he's come in, he's mostly ran it. And here's a handoff, Devon Starling. Starling carrying defenders up to the 35 yard line before he's dropped. Very confident they can pick up this first down and not even put the ball in the air. So Flores will fake the handoff, drops back, pressure coming, he is thumped in the back. All the momentum's in their favor right now. Yeah, it puts a ton of pressure on NAU, and if you're somebody who walked away from this game thinking it was over, then you haven't spent a lot of time watching Eastern Washington football. Far. Pass out to left, and it's Olm again. Olm up for a few yards and runs. Great job of getting to the football chisholm and adjusting his body. Vesperis in a rhythm now, pivots out of the pass rush, he'll get up to the line of scrimmage and is rough. Go one of those two. Also in the game at tight end. Vesperis runs to his right. He'll cut up the field. He'll throw over the middle high and nearly enters. And five. Flores all by himself in the backfield. Fires it over the middle. This one's missed. Flores he had 35-7. They have scored the last 14 points of this game. Keikoa Vesperis under duress once again. He's going to roll out, throw for the sideline. This one's tipped and caught. The punt here is not the end of the world if you don't pick it up. Vesperis. Oh, he almost broke out of that tackle, but bringing him down. Guess who? Eloy. Col well, Coleman Olman needs their punt returner. He was like he was catching a punt there. Meanwhile, Angel Flores up inside the 10. A minute to go here in the third quarter. Hand off Tuna. All to hear a big hole. Tuna inside the 40, down to the 30 and 20. Tuna on his feet and touchdown, Eastern Washington. Well, the no matter what, Eastern has made it a one possession game as the extra point is up and through. And that, and as we start this fourth quarter, they trail 35-28. Here's a pass out from Angel Flores. Devon Starling stays on his feet and gets up to the 40. He's got a first down. Second down. Flores will keep it. 
And he's up close to a first down. He will be just a yard short. So Flores calls for the snap. Pressure coming. Flores in trouble. He's dropped. Eastern Washington with the stop and coming up. For Does that open things up? Take care of the football, though, if you're Vesperis. Plenty of time here. Still over 11 minutes to go. Vesperis is going to follow Tuna this time and go forward for a gain of a this game after being down 35-7. Vespera setting up the screen. Efton Chisholm with room to the end zone. Brazil uh, could have easily folded the tents at 35 to 7. And the hang in there. Tied the here. You're back in the lead. Hand off Devon Starling with room. Starling into Eastern Territory up to the 40. Now the 35. Flores keeps it, able to evade Brock Harrison, who is screaming in on a blitz. And he's able Flores, ready for the snap. He'll turn and he'll fake, floats it up for the end zone, caught! Marcus Phillips, Jr., they've... What a great call there by Northern Arizona. We've seen them when... The challenge of having to compartmentalize. You gave up 28 unanswered points, but... Now a score, and you're back in the lead. Finally able to answer Eastern Washington's demands as this is Efton Chisholm, and he's dropped in the backfield. A great pursuit and a great tackle. I mean, they, they've been throwing the football, but I, you know, we see him run the football here. I think that's what, that's what you got to do if you're Eastern is just, you know. Three minutes to go. Flores will pass. He'll take a shot up the field. It is caught! B.J. Fleming to the end zone, and my... Well, I'll tell you what, third and long, you, you throw the ball up there, maybe you get a P.I. because that ball was perfectly thrown. What an answer by NAU here in this in this fourth quarter once Eastern playing about 15 to 20 yards deep. Okay, Kova Vesperis is going to take off and run. He's got the first down. He's trying to head to the sideline, but he's cut down inbounds. A great tackle. Right corner of your screen. Keiko of Asparis, he's looking that way. Now looking over the middle of the field, he'll fire into traffic. This one is incomplete. In and out of the hands of Blake Goble, but give credit. Vesperis sets up in the pocket, throws for the corner. This is caught by Chisholm. It Two tight ends in the game for Eastern Washington. Vesperis will pass. He'll float it up for the corner, and this one, no doubt about it. Come Tell you what, just a gamer. Important extra point here is on the way and good. So Jackson Cleve, Austin Getzing, thanks for watching. Let's get you down to the Kibbe Dome, Idaho and Idaho State.